In this video, we'll go over how to set up MDL materials inside SOLIDWORKS Visualize. MDL, or Material Definition Language, is NVIDIA's standard for these custom material types that are really powerful. So inside Visualize, I have some MDL materials here, and each one will have kind of unique properties. So if I drag and drop, say, a concrete material onto the floor, you can see there's different properties for grout color and uh, roughness and things like that. Um, if we were to use something like an aged metal, we'd see completely different properties. So scuffing and various other uh, parameters that we can tweak. Now all these materials I'm using here are straight from a publicly available library provided by NVIDIA known as their vMaterial library. So you can find the link to this in the description below. But basically to access these, you just need to click to download the vMaterial library for Windows. This is going to be at least a gigabyte. And then uh, it contains over 2,000 materials. So you'll get an installer that you need to run. It may actually need to run uh, twice to install the exchange and then the materials themselves. And what you should end up with is a directory on your hard drive where all these materials will be stored. So um, by default, this is going to install to your documents directory, MDL, NVIDIA, and then V materials. So let's take a look at how you can get these into your project. So here I'm just on a clean starter project again. And I'm just going to open that file explorer window and browse out for the materials I want. Now, I've had a lot of fun in this AEC category, which is uh, materials in intended for buildings. So we can see a lot of different things, carpet and different things. Um, so let's try something like masonry. We'll go into that folder. And you'll see a whole bunch of thumbnail previews followed by a single MDL material. And this MDL material will basically contain all these different variations. So all I really need to do to use this is just drag and drop the MDL material into SOLIDWORKS Visualize and then give it time to perform that import. And we'll see that MDL material applied and I can go to my appearances and we see that all these different variations were brought in. So I have um, various different versions of the floor as it's generating these uh, thumbnail previews here. So we could swap between any of these by just drag and drop. And then we could go and adjust things like the scale if we want to have this uh, be larger or smaller. So you can see there's some really nice information in this material. Uh, it is possible to right click and import appearances. And you can do batch imports of MDL materials this way. But as you saw here, just dragging in one MDL material may produce many variations. So I've had the best luck just selectively choosing from uh, the existing materials. I'd like to try a marble material here. And we can see that material applied. The design category contains uh, maybe some more useful engineering materials. So there's some various grades of plastics that we have access to. So hopefully you can see how this material library of over 2000 materials is immensely helpful. And many of the effects when we get into more advanced materials like fabrics would be really difficult to achieve uh, by any other means. So uh, there's a whole bunch of fabrics here that can be very convincingly used in your renders. And we can edit the properties of these MDL materials inside SOLIDWORKS Visualize, but we can't create MDL materials directly inside SOLIDWORKS Visualize. Uh, they need to be created with something like a procedural texture generation program. One of the common ones out there is Substance Designer. Hopefully you found this video helpful and let us know what type of content you'd like to see next in the comments below.